Hello, my name is Hugh Knight and I'm the Fechtmeister of the Schlachtschuber. Today we're going to continue our series of videos for novice students of the Schlachtschule, introducing you to the uh, root techniques of the system. So far we've done a class on, or classes on the very basic elements and we've examined several of the secret or master strikes. So we looked at the Zornhauort, the Krumpau, and the Zwerkau. In this video we're going to examine the next of the secret strikes which is the Schielhau. Now the Schielhau is one of the most unusual looking techniques in the system and it's one of those that when you look at it you think well this isn't really how you use a sword right it's very odd the purpose of the shield how is, is in, it's intended to be used against very heavy cuts and what the masters say it's a kind of a clever thing there's a slang term in german the buffalo the buffalo and this is for the guy who just does big heavy super powered strikes and although the shield has, has broader applications than that, in fact, quite a few broader applications, its principal application is to defeat the Buffel, okay? So normally when I talk about this in German, I'll say, Schielhau bricht Buffel Zornhau. So a Schielhau breaks the Buffalo uh, Zornhau. Now, we talk about Oberhaui and Zornhaui and things like that as if they're two different things, right? And they are. Um, but Oberhau just means a cut from above, while Zornhau, the cut of rage, is a specific kind of cut from above. This is also a cut from above, but it's one done with the short edge of the sword, which makes it kind of odd and unusual. And the idea behind this is very much like that of the Zwerkau that we looked at in the last video. This is a single time cut with opposition. And like the Zornhau, the key to this is to not strike at your opponent's sword, but just to strike at your opponent and let his sword hit yours. So let's begin by considering that. All right, so to begin with, what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna strike at Joe, say hi to Joe. I'm gonna strike at Joe without him doing anything, just to give you a sense of how the cut works. So as with everything, we start in Tom Tog, in a good balance stance, saber grip, sword back, Right? All the things that we talked about before. Now, we start by cutting across. So with the Zornhau, we cut here. We start the Schielhau by cutting across because we're going to strike him on this side. And as I do that, I'm going to step on a little bit of a diagonal. This is something we don't do in other circumstances. Normally, I tell you to just step straight in. But it works best on this technique to step off at an angle. And you're gonna cut until you're part way over, and then suddenly, you're gonna turn the sword back in. Joe, come over on this side, please. You're gonna suddenly turn the sword back in and cut down on a steep angle against your opponent's neck or head. Now, where people get this wrong most of the time is they swing across. They just wanna come across like this. And what happens when you do that is you never get a good cut coming down. So the trick is to cut straight, as if you're going to cut straight to there. But at the last moment, you turn your hands over and cut back in on a 45 degree angle or so. Okay, just like that. Now, when you see your opponent cock up for a big powerful strike, as he goes real slow, real slow, as he gets to about there, where I'm aiming for is between his head and his blade, okay? And then I turn my sword over and strike down into it. Just like that. And what you'd like to happen is you'd like his sword to catch on your cross coming in, okay? All right, so let's take a look at this again and talk about some of the problems people have when they do this. So we went to a, uh, I took my students down to a big uh, sword tag event down in Los Angeles? No, San Diego, somewhere, I forget where it was. Just because I wanted them to see all the things that I talk about in the HEMA world that, that go on. And we watched a guy teaching, actually teaching a class where he showed the, the shield how like this. Okay? Um, people don't understand what this cut's supposed to do. And as a result, they can't make it work. So they, they end up trying to fix it in their minds, right? If you do, just like I said with the Zverkow, if you do this first, you now have an empty displacement. 
And if you have an empty displacement, all that matters is whoever moves first. If he moves first, you're dead. I'm not blocking his sword, all right? I'm cutting inside and letting him hit my sword. Okay? Now the other thing people do is they don't try and swing across to block the sword necessarily, but what they try and do is they try and bring the sword like this, right, across in front instead of leading with the point. You have to lead with the point, because if you don't, you end up here, and again, you're back in that same situation. Another thing they do is they leave their cross two vertical. So we do this in a little slower motion. They leave the cross two vertical, and there's nothing to stop your opponent's sword. It has to be turned out at this angle if it's going to catch. Now, I'm going to tell you that a lot of the time, if your opponent's swinging really hard and fast, he won't catch in your cross. He'll bounce off your sword. But who cares? You still hit him, and you still protect yourself, and that's what matters. Okay? So as you can see, we're catching every shot, and he's getting hit. 